This video is about the access certification functionality found in the OpenAM platform. We will start out with a little background about why companies should be implementing access certification, followed by the functionality that is found in the OpenAM platform related to this. The rest of the focus will be on a demo which shows how to configure a certification campaign and how end users can participate in it. Users at organizations which don't have a comprehensive identity governance program tend to accumulate access privileges over a period of time. This can happen when they move between positions or when access is granted temporarily and never revoked. Access certification encourages organizations to regularly review a user's access and revoke access that is no longer appropriate. By implementing an access certification program, organizations as a whole will be able to have a better idea of who has access to which systems and what they can do within those systems. We should also be able to remove all inappropriate access as well as identify and remove orphaned and inactive accounts. To achieve these objectives, OpenAMP provides a central administration interface where the certification campaigns can be defined and monitored. Once a campaign has been started, end users only need to interact with the self-service portal like they do for access requests, SSO, and self-service password reset. This reduces the learning curve in adopting this functionality. Access certification in OpenAM also supports closed loop remediation so that access which is not approved can be revoked automatically. Let's move to the product demo. The first step is to define a certification campaign. To start, we need to first define the type of campaign. OpenAMP supports certification by users, applications, and groups. For this video, we'll focus on user-based certifications. Next, we need to define an interval for this campaign. It can be something that we run as a one-off, or we can have it run automatically at regular intervals. In this case, we can configure it to run semi-annually from the start date. We can also define the number of days that we have to complete this campaign. This can be used to drive SLAs and to encourage approvers to complete their tasks in a timely manner. The email template is also provided as an option so that you can change the default notifications that's being sent out when the campaign is initiated. Next, we need to define the users who will participate in this campaign. Here we have a few choices. We can either select from all users in the system, we can select from users who are in specific organizational units, or we can select from users in our specific groups or roles. The groups or roles and org unit based models are designed to be self-maintaining across campaign executions. For example, if we have a certification campaign for all users in the engineering department and it's run semi-annually, then it's possible that the team members will change over time. OpenIM will take the active users in the org unit at the time the campaign is run. The same concept applies to groups and roles as well. If none of these predefined options work for you, you can also have the option to select users individually using the search mechanism, or you can upload a CSV file with a list of users that you want to use. For this demo, let's select all users who are in the organizational unit, MyCorp. This next screen defines a certification approval flow. You can define as many steps as needed for your organization. In this case, we are requiring that only the user's immediate manager review the request. The other configurations on the screen are related to enforcing timelines. Since we only have 15 days to complete this campaign, we're going to send out a reminder after five days, and if after two reminders, the approver still has not completed a task, we'll send out an escalation message. Now that the certification has been configured, we can kick off the campaign by clicking on the Execute Now button. In the background, email notices will be sent to each approver to review the access for their respective users. To see the progress dashboard, we need to select the specific execution of this campaign. Now that the campaign has been executed, let's log in to the self-service portal as one of the approvers. We can go to either the inbox or to the My Approval screen, and we can see all of our pending certification requests here. Let's open up one of our requests. Here we can see that this user has a few roles in an AD group membership. While we're reviewing this user's access, we can also compare their access with another user to help us find any anomalies. In this case, we see that our original user has super security admin rights. We can revoke that role membership and then click on the Accept button to complete the certification if everything else looks okay. Since this is the last step in the review process, OpenAM will now remove that membership 
to the super security admin role, as well as deprovision any entitlements that were gained as a result of that role membership. To validate that this entitlement has been removed, we can go to the user manager in the admin console. We can look up the user in the search bar, and then from the side menu, we can look up the entitlements. We can see from this view that the membership to the super security admin role has been removed. Our final step in this video is to return to our campaign certification screen and to check our progress. We can do this using the dashboard. That pie chart shows the number of users for whom certification has been complete, as well as those which are still pending. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.